What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. This is your boy Jay Reed for Jay Reed's Love of Cars. Here's what we're talking about today. If you are a new Corvette owner, you may wanna watch this video. If you are an old Corvette owner, you probably already figured this out. But if you wanna see what I'm talking about, watch it anyway. So here's what we're gonna be talking about. We're gonna be talking about three nifty things that every new car owner should have not going to say must have but you should have it definitely why because it'll help you in a pinch you can either find out the easy way or find out the hard way so let's dive right into what i'm talking about the first thing they are all related they are all related as you probably know the cc corvette does not come with a spare does not come with a spare tire and as you probably already know it is awfully low to the ground so you may have one of those regular jacks that you use to lift your normal car up, your regular car up. Well, you don't want to use that. You are going to want to go to Harbor Freight in particular if you want a cheap one, but you can go any to, to anywhere and buy one, even get it off Amazon. You want at least a three ton low profile jack. Now, why do you now, why do you want a low profile jack? Because your car is awfully low. My car is lowered. Everybody that gets a Corvette, the first thing that they do is lowered. Why? Because it's easy to do yourself and it's also inexpensive if you take it somewhere. But when you do that, your car is going to be super low. Point in case, my foot barely goes up under. So a regular jack is not going to work. This is why you need a low profile jack. So what makes a low profile jack different? It's low profile. Look how low this, the, um, the pad is to the actual jack so this is only about three inches off the ground so if you have a low pro a low car this is perfect for it now even with this and get a heavy duty one don't get one of them little babies even with this you can see with the skirt kits so if you have a zero one if you have a, a any car with the ground zero one kit on it look at the space that you have you don't even have much with the low profile jack so just go ahead and get one of these pick it up you're going to need it it's going to make your life a whole lot easier and for the back you can lift it jack it up at the axle that's what i do sometimes when i'm changing out my tires to go to the track but there are also jack points on the sides of the car too and that's what leads me to my next point, the jack points. There's another thing that you need, even with this low profile jack, and here's why. You see how this dips right there? When you dip, I dip. <laughs> well, you're gonna need something to put right there, and I'm gonna show you. I don't know if you can see it with the camera. I'm gonna try to get this up under there, probably can't. No, I can't. My car is too low. But there's a jack point up under the C6 Corvette. And if you get it in the wrong place or try to jack it up to the wrong place, you're gonna rip that shit up, you're gonna bend shit up. It's just gonna be an awful experience. So the next thing that you wanna pick up is a puck. What is this puck? This right here, you use this. You wanna use this puck right here to put on the pad of the jack. It sits on there just like this. This part right here, there's a hole underneath the jack point where this slides up in and you twist it. Once it's twisted, it stays in the car. So you're gonna want these, they're very inexpensive. You can even buy something to screw under there, but I just got the cheap ones. These are only about $13 on Amazon and they come in a four pack. Now you're probably saying, why you only have one? That's because I lost the other ones. These are really easy to lose. Here's why you often will forget that they are up under there because once you hook them up under there they're up under there you on to the next tire you on to something else now what happens you leave it up under there you go down the highway eventually it'll vibrate loose and you've lost the puck where did i find this one? Oh shit where did i find this one to do this video up under the car that's right i kept looking for it because i knew i only had one i said uh, let me check the car luckily it was up under the car under the jack point so you definitely want to want going to want one of these here's another the reason why you want to keep these and i would really keep them in your car and here's why you get a flat you don't have a spare you don't have a um, run flat you don't have your jack your big floor jack so you're going to have to have triple a i advise triple a Ooh, i advise triple a that's another thing get yourself triple a save yourself a lot of a lot of trouble forget that insurance company uh roadside assistance nothing compares to triple a i've never had to wait long at all in an emergency with this car now but back to the point 
if you call a wrecker or something to get your car or somebody else has to jack it up, you want to make sure you have these handy. Otherwise, you're taking a chance. If you take your car to the shop to get wheels put on and you just go to the shade tree mechanic or whatever, the road, the wheel shop or whatever, you know what I'm talking about. Take these with you because that way there's a less risk of you getting your car messed up that somebody else not going to want to pay for. That leads me to my next point. One other thing that you are going to want to have with you is, and it, the one I have, it fits, ooh, mm, you know what that's for, bang, bang, I digress. Get yourself a little, ooh, fast and furious, I got ADD, sorry. You're going to want a portable air pump. This one is perfect. I think I got it off Amazon. If I can find the link, I'll put that bad boy in the link below. I've had it for years and it's still working like a charm. What do I use this for? Let's say you don't drive your car every day. Me particularly, I don't drive my car to work every day. I only work in the office a couple of days a week, but even then I didn't drive to work that much. So what happens, your car sit up and the tires get low. You just jump in, in your car and the next thing you know, you, you got a tire that's low. Ain't nobody got no 50, 75 cents to be stopping in no gas station air. So what do you do? Once you get to where you're going, just plug this in your cigarette lighter, turn your car on and bada bing, you're airing your car up. And it really comes handy when you're going to the track. So if you're a beginner, you want to take your car to the track to see what it do. Number one, you got these street tires on. That's going to be a problem. You ain't bought radials yet because you just got your car. So what do you do? You take it to the track, you got your street radials on, your street tires on, and you're spinning all over the place. It's not even fun. One of the things that you can help combat that is dropping your tire pressure. Dropping to like 20 PSI. Problem with that is you don't want to drop them if you do not have a way to add them back up so you can get home. That's where that comes in. It's saved me a lot of times. It helped my brother. When he's at the track and needs to drop pressure, I don't have to worry about it. I just raise that pressure up before I go home. And it's only two tires to deal with. Anyway, these are the three things that I wanted to talk to you about. If you're a new Corvette owner, the more I think of some more, the more I'll let you know. But this and that puck, which I already lost that quick. There it is. This, the puck, and that air compressor, man, it's done saved me a lot of times, a lot of time and energy, especially when you're putting drag radios on. It's quick, fast. Get you a good floor jack. Good, low, prof, low profile floor jack. This your boy. Y'all let me know what you think about this video in the comments. I'll be back at you soon. Peace.